Hey everyone, I'm Garrison and welcome back to the channel. So today I'll be checking out Chunga's MV for Killing Me. Now I do know that this is a special single considering of course the teasers, but we love to see it. It's been quite some time, actually more than quite some time since she dropped her full album, right? I think it was back in like February. That's actually, yeah, more than quite some time. So I'm curious how this one's going to go. I've been hearing song of the year here and there. And also that makes me have like heightened expectations uh, pretty much, which is not necessarily a good thing and not necessarily a bad thing. It's I, it's like, I don't know, you know, I'm going to have to see so myself uh, in terms of what kind of genre she hits and how it's being delivered the song and you know what kind of approach she took this time around with killing me so with that being said let's just get into it shall we all right chunga killing me let's go d-day Ooh, these synths though Ooh. Okay, so there's these synthesizers at the start here with these claps. But where's this going though? Oh. though to the song is so impactful as much as her vocal delivery in this just the emotion that she pours into this is so genuine and so pure Woo! from the synthesizer work to the motion that she pours in and how at times woo, she's so like one with it at times you know what i'm saying her vocals and the synthesizers but i'm sensing Like a breakup happened of some sort. Woo! Those electronic drums, too. Wow, it's the drum kit work as well. It's the hi hats. Nothing is for me. And to this, the, based on the typography, the styling of the text and all, I really get that sense of a breakup. A really, really bad one that really hurts um based on the lyrics based on like the walls closing on her and like these sort of flashbacks of good times and now uh, like she seems to be suffering uh in not just physically but mentally as well and like how she was on the floor just 
just so at a point in life that is like lowest of lows you know i'm trying to to say but wow aside from that really really good acting i've got to give it to her uh for this song it works so well how she acts um in killing me here the mv to the lyrics that are being delivered by her that can be so cohesive and so I would say in unison with the synthesizers. And what I mean by that is I love how not like it's not like impatiently done like the synths are done in an impatient kind of manner, but more so an urgent kind of manner. There's an urgency, you know, and something needs to come out you know there's there needs to be an emotional release and all this built up tension and all and what really releases all that tension is chunga herself she she most prominently does this in the hooks of the song the hooks oh my goodness are so addictive yet so memorable and that's the key word here everyone today i want to really keep reiterating longevity when there is longevity to this song, it just makes me love the song even more because there's so much replay value to it, attached attached replay value to it. And I can totally see myself listening to this song over and over and over again, even though knowing like the the, the very painful breakup aspect uh, to it, you know what I'm trying to say? But most importantly, what is tied to the emotion that is being put from Chunga herself in the vocal department is them nostalgic feels. Um, not only being shown in the flashbacks that are occurring in the MV and the editing and done in it and all, but how the lyrics were put out. How how the lyrics were put up pretty much and just that urgency with the synthesizers and the motion she put everything came in such a cohesive and unison kind of manner which kind of reminds me not gonna lie of quite a bit uh, several of it what but with different genres most prominently done in electronic house like edm like i would say like the house electronic house like kind of route but this does not touch the house route at all believe it or not this is actually just straight up pop um but with quite a bit like it's like borderline electro pop a lot of synthesizer use it's even borderline synth pop uh, but more so in like a moodier not too too moody uh kind of manner you know what i'm trying to say due to the vocoder effects the vocal effects behind uh, Chang'e in uh, certain moments and sections in the song to the heavy use of the synthesizers especially during the chorus and all and it also yeah it reminds me of like I would say mid 2000s like mid early 2000s we had quite a bit of this and then it kept on growing and growing in mainstream in the western uh, uh scene and all and i love how she takes her own kind of style and at the same time furthers uh modern day trends i think good examples of this are shown from the likes of Dua Lipa, um, the the likes of certain uh, DJs um, like Martin Garrix collaborating with incredible um, artists, musicians, you name it, uh, that come through with such uh, impactful lines that give you them nostalgic feels. But I like how she implements her own style and furthers it and gets creative with it. You know, I'm trying to say with that sort of modern day trend that is not overly, overly done. Because mind you, I feel like the whole, um, I would say, disco pop trend 
it seems to be uh, heard uh, quite a bit in the k-pop scene i wouldn't say now these days in this month but way earlier back in the summer and earlier on in the year uh, which was really known from being done quite a bit in uh, outside of uh, k-pop so yeah i gotta give it to her for doing that and that's Pretty much the Chunga that I love and know and we love and know is that she always puts in 110% and she is able to really convey emotion in her uh, songs no matter how upbeat, no matter how moody, no matter how uplifting the song may be. She comes through with that emotion and really furthers that sort of message that is trying to be conveyed if there is one in her, her songs. And you could see sort of themes and you could hear sort of themes and messages behind her songs. But yeah, uh, I'm going to uh, get back into this and then I'll talk more about uh, the song. But when I get back into this, I'm going to talk about the sections that I truly uh, love and all. So let's just dive back into this, shall we? Just at the start of this, it could have been way more like flamboyant. It could have been way more cheerful, but I like how she took this route. It's very nostalgic with it, but you know, considering the titling of this uh, makes so much sense, killing me. Everything feels so strange. Packing your sun so gay. Wonder that go, remember that go. Everything now has changed. Kuri ten gong gane. Kolo nem gyojin te. Lost in the maze. Now I'm insane. Kyo sukten hide and see. Stuck with you, Pambo. And this is where we hear more of that vocal effect or a vocoder uh, being utilized to make that a uh, 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 very synthy type of effect to make it sound like she's with one with the, the synthesizers. But this is not the part like the the pre-chorus here is not the part that makes it me feel like she is so one with it. You know what I'm saying? It's actually the chorus. And you'll see when I point it out when it happens here. When the drop happens. Woo! That urgency, that full on rush of synthesizers right here. When it's that drag of that, that, or that word or that line there. And then we get that full rush of synthesizers. Man, I, I these scenes just are so powerful, I've got to admit. You have like the greatest times of like your own birthday, maybe, and in your mind have you ever had those moments where all of a sudden you think about unfortunate events maybe a breakup or or something bad in your life yet you know in in the current time or period you are just having fun but all of a sudden you think about bad things it just comes to your mind and it, it just hurts it, it it's like why am i thinking about this this is you know this happened in the past you know i should be moving on but it, it still sort of per se haunts you right and i i, I really get that sort of uh you know that understanding with all these um these walls closing in on Chunga here where does it end try to pretend oh my goodness i love the rhyme scheme there Really love the claps in the song. But as it progresses, I love how they introduce more in and elements, I should say. And instruments. Ooh. 
<laughs> the vocal air in there. And this is what I mean. The okay, perfect time to pause. Ah, so adorable. But the the slightest of those electro drums that are most prominently used in uh, disco pop and synth wave and synth pop, you name it. I really like how it's just brief throughout the song. It's like right here. Yeah, those are pretty much electronic drums that you guys are hearing. Now, I really enjoyed how the bridge was really brief here. And then it brings us back into, like, the banger of a chorus. However, the, the final chorus is the one that closes things in the i wouldn't say closes things but ends it off with a bang you know what i'm saying and then we get an outro after that actually believe it or not Just that full on rush. Just way more usage of the electronic drums, but like the outro here. Let me be. Perfect outro to end the perfect song. Oh my goodness, everyone. Killing me easily, easily a 10 out of 10 for me. Now, would I say it's my favorite uh, song by her? I wouldn't say so. I think it slots nicely under Stay Tonight. And then, you know, A Dream of You is above Stay Tonight and uh, all. But it's up there. I, I'm saying like top four echelon i would say uh in terms of one of my favorite uh, songs by her to date um but uh, to further my ideas and uh how i felt about this song it got me reminiscent of songs such as i'm not sure if you guys are familiar with this song it's called delicate by taylor swift now delicate by T taylor swift it doesn't get like this kind of tempo and like the rush of the energy with the synthesizers and the drum kit usage but there's a good amount of vocoder or, or <clears throat> vocal effects in that song and it has that nostalgic kind of feeling and if i recall correctly because back then honestly i had like a justin bieber phase at a cody simpson phase especially when i was watching like the disney channel the good old days right um, and I had so many of these phases, and Taylor Swift was one of those phases. And I remember in Delicate, if I recall correctly, like I said, it's the whole about, uh, what was it? It's about your insecurities, you know, and seeing if this your significant other one or your love interest doesn't mind or isn't bothered by your insecurities and stuff like that. And it, that song was quite some time ago, you know? I, I can't exactly remember when it dropped, but it's good to hear something like that, but different, you know? In Chunga's kind of style, uh, with her uh, emotional uh, delivery, like I mentioned, yet done it in a unison, cohesive kind of manner with the instrumental, with the rush of the synthesizers that you know are quite urgent uh with it and with uh, in phenomenal uh hooks uh in this song it's been a while since i've got like hookier uh, catchy uh hooks i've got to admit to the point where it's that memorable to make the song have so much longevity and i can't emphasize this enough like 
sure like you can have like really good hooks and uh that doesn't mean it's a good song all of, what i'm saying is the hooks do more than they do for its job and i think chunga like is just it, it, this song was just so fascinating in how she came through with uh her vocals with the rush of synthesizers and the drum kit usage to the claps to a bit of the hi-hats used in this song as well and it provided the nostalgic feels as well so i really got that sort of futuristic nostalgic like those are the type of words that i would uh use to describe this song and uh i love it i love it i absolutely love it i i'm sorry guys if i sounded like a broken record uh today for this i mean i'm really really tired after from classes but i really wanted to check this out since y'all have been talking about song of the year and my, my friend also is like yep this is my song of the year uh for me though it is a song of the year uh type material i've got to admit it's it slots right into that huge list for this year ton of song of the years that happened personally for uh, me but as always everyone be sure to like share maybe subscribe as it helps out the channel so so much and just warms my heart connecting with y'all about Chunga's killing me i love this song from start to finish if it wasn't clear enough and as always have a great day have a good night have a good afternoon wherever you are this has been garrison and peace